I just love that tune. Ride, Tommy Castro, and the Painkillers with the Yankee and the Britney RTM Radio Network. Good evening. Good evening, Friday night on a Texas hot Friday night. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous out there, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Love yes. it. My kind of weather. And it's going to be a little bit cooler next week. Can't beat that, man. I'm loving it. How cool. 70s. You know, he was talking about... 70s, not 60s, not 50s, 70s. Oh, so you can chill out with that bonfire talk then. Oh, right. He was talking about starting a fire up next week. I was well, like, no They were no talking about way, at night it's going to be like 40 or 50. You might be glad in the morning when you uh-uh. wake up. No uh-huh. way. I was wanna... bitching it's cold in air. I want to wake up to that nice, crisp, yeah, cool air. Humbug, you're always yelling about <laughs> the cold in here with the air on. Oh, my gosh, yeah, this week it has been freezing with the air on. And Rand's Ooh. been... Randy's been like sat there either topless or with like one of those short sleeve t shirt things on, and I've been sat here with my hoodie on, zipped up. That's because I'm loving it. Freezing my own nipples off. I love that cool air. It's good for you. Nothing like AC in Texas. <laughs> Can't live here without it. Well, you could, but what look does at that. that. Suck? Look at that in the chat room. Thomas would like to hear Boston smoking. Well, He's going to jam along with his guitar. Well, let's get him jamming Before over Before he has then, to put it we? away, of course. <laughs> Wife's going to come in and say, put your down. <laughs> Boston and smoking. He's got his guitar out again. Yankee and the Brit. <laughs> woo Running down a dream. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Friday night, got it rocking over here. Special hello out there to Kiefer. To our parcel-tongued Hi, Keith. Keith what's Keith going Samson on? Keith Sampson in the chat room. <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> we found out just a week or so ago that Keith Samson in the chat room is actually a reptilian. He's reptilian? He is reptilian. Him speaking with forked tongue, no doubt. <laughs> yes, he has a forked tongue and he can speak to snakes and he has four legs. And when it's too hot on the ground, he does that little hop dance thing. <laughs> well, fork you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there, truck driver? Anything exciting happening out there? Yes, and there's Thomas in the chat room as well. Let's say hello to John Malpass. He's on my Facebook. Hello, area. John. I see hey. uh, the truckers are piling up deep in Washington. They should get deeper. California. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, we've been watching their progress. John says he will be from a safe distance, shortly. no doubt. What? Watching their progress from a safe distance. Oh yeah. Can't oh, I said it like the Brits say it. Progress. Oh yes, because you say progress. Progress. Your well, progress. You said something this morning, and I was like, what did he just say? What did he say? Yeah, <laughs> he like, it was totally American, and he's turning more British than I am, right? That's now, right, so. that's right. Every once in a while, it just comes right out. And hello, Vicky, <laughs> if you're listening. Let's say hello to Vicky. She's probably driving. Vicky, so, Vicky, 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 Vicky who? Vicky who? Samson. Oh, hi, Vicky. Oh. Yeah, what's the matter with me? Pay attention. <clears throat> yeah, sure. All right, very cool. Well, we got uh, some of the traveling dingleberries, uh, Tom Bad Petty. request from JoJo. No, 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 not from JoJo, from Brenda Crouch. Now, is she? In, I'm not going to play it till she's here. So you've got to make sure she's listening somehow. Whether no she's in the no. chat or just listening. And I'm not going to play her favorite song until I know she's listening. If so. she doesn't own up to listening, then we will play the song that's been annoying her all day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say what it is. We'll save it for her. Yes, we will. Anyways, Tom Petty, don't do me like that. No, don't do me like that. Please, don't do me like that, baby. (laughs) Yankee and the Brit, rock and roll it on a Friday night. Traveling Wilburys, in case you don't know who's in the band, by the way, and these guys are nope, awesome, too. I have no clue. What's going off with my mic again? You. Hello? If Hello? Stop talking. We wouldn't have these issues. <laughs> Do I sound all schmecky now? No, sounds like no, shit. No, it does, doesn't it? Definitely. Getting an Give me thing. back my voice, damn it. There. No, it's still not there. No, you stop interrupting me while I'm trying to be I serious. I said it's still not there. I hear it. All right, then. Who was in the Traveling Wilburys? I can hear that shit from miles away. Say something. Something. All right. Something, something. Okay. It's still bad, but... Yes. Is it there now? Yes, sir. (laughs) Gotta get that fixed. This shit's driving me nuts. Anyways, if you don't know who some of the members were of the Traveling Wilburys, it was George Harrison, Bob Dylan, Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, Jeff Lynn, and Jim Keltner. All these guys were together, and I'll tell you what, you can hear how good they sounded. Love these guys, man. When I come across that, I was like, yeah, that's some badass shit right there. You can't beat that. 
Let's go over here and do another Tom Petty song. Some people were uh, requesting earlier that we did a little Tom Petty tribute. So, we'll... Of course, Journey, who else? Yankee and the Brit, RTM Radio Network, rocking that was, on a Friday that night. That was for Mr. Chico Chico. We know he's normally listening That's somewhere. That's right then. And hello, JoJo. And hello, Joanne. How jo- are you jo- there? Jo- Good jo- looking. Jo- Haven't heard from Joanne for ooh, many, many moon. Been long time since see Joanne. Joanne walked all over town. Always walk. She did. She was a walker. Probably still walks. Does your mom still walk? Do you still walk, Joanne? I hope you're still walking anyways, regardless of whether you walk, walk, or if you don't walk. But do you walk? Oh, I just told her. So there you go. You stay out of this now. <laughs> My conversation. Yes, Hi. good evening. How to cool. JoJo's. I love it. And Keith Sampson would like to hear Too Late by Dove Leopard. He would. He would. So well, chop, we'll do chop, that as soon as we do this. And... and don't forget as well that Jojo would like us to play some of that for her mum. See? Some Steve Perry? Yes, no, Stephen she said Perry. Steve Perry has one hell of a voice. Where did she say mom wants to hear it? Let me hear that. Where did you see that part? There. She said, play Stephen Perry. It does see, not it says, say that. It says P L A Y. Play <laughs> Stephen Perry. <laughs> You are such a liar. Yes, she does, oh, Jojo geez. says. So I'm assuming that's yes, she does still walk. Well, I know she asked for this, so we're going to play this one. Tom Petty. And free fall in with a Yankee and the Brit. She's a... Oh, we're always talking about food around here. Have any of you guys ever tried the uh, those sun chips, the harvest cheddar? Oh, my God, these things are addictive. I can't stop eating them. What the hell was that? What? Something just made a noise. Anyways, they're so friggin' addictive. Crunchy, noisy. Oh, I can't stand to hear myself chew them, but god damn, they're good. Love that addictive stuff. All right, moving along over here, the traveling dingleberries. And it's all right. It really is. It's bloody well done in case. What's that? What's all that noise? <laughs> Time to sing along then. Sing along, you all. Well, it's all the traveling dingleberries, and it's all right. Hey, look at Mr. Chico Chico in the chat room. He said he's sipping on pumpkin spice coffee and listening to the Yankee and the Brit show. Oh my Does God, that pumpkin spice that? stuff. I mean, I personally don't do that pumpkin, pu- pumpkin Everything is spice pumpkin stuff. Spice. But I, s- I saw today uh. there was like gingerbread man. Um, no, it wasn't today. It was yesterday when we went to IHOP. Gingerbread man, um, hot chocolate. Now gingerbread that, man? <laughs> I didn't think it had a man in it. But um, anyway. I just like the way you said it. <laughs> a gingerbread yeah. man. Gingerbread man, hot chocolate. Now, that would be so cool if you were sat listening to the Yankee and the Brit. I mean, it doesn't get any better unless you had like a cool big blanket um, and lots of snuggles. <laughs> Not with you, not with you, with You've Alfred. Come to the wrong place, my dear. With Alfred, our huge Great Dane radio dog. Oh, you could snuggle with him any you want because he stinks too much to sleep. Oh, with that, me. I tell you what, that dog loves boobies, booby cuddles. <laughs> and if anyone's got boobies around here, it's me. <laughs> he does, he just looks I got so the belly snuggles, to make up he? for the boobies, though. Yeah, you know when... He likes to rest his head on my belly when we're watching the news. You know, if me and Randy go to have a little cuddle, you know, my boobs rest just comfortably on top of your belly. (laughs) You know, this pumpkin spice thing has gone way over the top. I saw a post today uh, from one of these car pages I go to, and it was a post on a Napa sign. It says, uh, now here, pumpkin spice brake pads. I was like, what? Get that. I suppose when you put on the brakes and they overheat, they smell like pumpkin spice or something would be my guess. That's all I could come up with. Oh, my God. That shit's gone way over the top. Okay. By request off the chat line over here, I believe by our own faithful country singer and star... da 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 Keep Samson! Too Late for Love. Def Lepard. Yankee and the Brit. The RGM Radio Network. Random Man, Donna, the RTM Radio Nitwits over here rocking it on a Friday. I wish Facebook would stop writing quotes in my friggin' post. That's not Facebook. That's Spreaker doing that. Well, they need to stop it, too. If I want to brag, I'll do it on my own, and I don't do that. 
You know damn well I wouldn't write something like that. Yeah, uh, on uh, on Randy's Spreaker post from last week, I saw it. I saw it come up saying, uh, "Hey, come listen to me." And I thought, "Come listen Randy. to me live on Spreaker." Yeah. And I would never put the word Spreaker in there, so I know I didn't type it. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I thought it was odd last week, and then I thought, "Well, whatever." But um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's total bullshit. Not right that there. one. Come and listen to me live on Spreaker. Remember, so I said. So you know I'm not writing that. Yeah, I don't you? Get it all. Uh, edit it and. Can, oh, you I can't, can't edit, edit it. it. But anyway. I don't like. To, I'll take it off just because I don't like the fact somebody's doing shit for me. I'll decide. What it, to it'll say. be a Spreaker setting somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, well, it'll be setting off. On anyway, the side. get over to your chat room. You've what? Got that out? Quest over here. What we got going on over here then? Let me get back over here where the people are. All right then. Sorry guys. I just. Uh, I don't like nobody telling me what to do and how I can talk and what I can and say. Mr. Chico, are you catching my drift over here? Oh, it's that same moan and gripe that you always come out with. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Chico Chico's comment disappeared from Spreaker as well. I was reading it and then it was gone. But anyway, yes, Mr. Chico Chico has a request and Mr. Thomas A. Rollins Sr. Yeah, well, has a request Yeah, if you stop talking well. long enough, I, I can probably play him. I never stop talking. I know. Live from the RTM Radio Network Studio. It's a country Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I'm going to ask that you please remain seated. We're experiencing a little bit of turbulence. Why are you those other guys on the weekend? When you can listen to the Yankee and the Brit. Every Friday and Saturday night, 7 p.m. Texas time. Just a little word from the Yankee and the Brit. We will not be here tomorrow night. We will not know. We are getting a lie for ourselves tomorrow. This is not a usual thing for the Yankee and the Brit. We do not normally have a life of our own. But tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow one time tomorrow. only, <laughs> we will have a life of our own. Oh, I've got an echo button. One time only, the Yankee and the Brit will have a life. But only one time. One and then we'll time. be back next Friday and Saturday. <laughs> yes, so don't we will. Panic. <laughs> and we might get all sad and uh, do a show on Sunday night because we might feel like we need a, uh, to not have a life again. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. In the meantime, by request, ACDC, slip the dog a bone, baby. <laughs> Well, that's one way to end a song, isn't it? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hate that. Yankee and the Brit over here, the RTM Radio Network, the RTM Radio Nitwits at your service on a Friday. Doing a rock and roll gig over here, man. What's going on on your end? Everybody uh, doing all right? Got shit going on? Things happening? What's your plans for tomorrow? What's the weather going to be yeah, like? Yeah, tell us all about what you're doing with your weekend. Is the weather going to allow you to have plans tomorrow? That might be the Speaking question. of plans tomorrow, we just decided that we're going to shut the show down at 9 p.m. tonight instead of 10. Because we have a hell of a long drive tomorrow to get there and all the way back. What the hell is up with uh, my mic again? Tomorrow we get a cable. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that is what happens tomorrow. The Yankee and the Brit get time. a life. We are going to get a cable for my microphone. We are. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. All right. Anyways. Um... Yeah, whatever you were saying. Oh, Nate, Hurricane Nate, I guess it's becoming a hurricane or it will. Is I just saw they put a mandatory uh, curfew in Louisiana because of Hurricane Nate. It's not even going to be that bad from what everybody's saying, so I don't understand what the big deal is. It's just going to be a, a badass storm. So now everybody freaks and we have, uh, you know, mandatory curfews and all why don't you just why don't you just uh have martial law and just lock the place down for god's sake what the hell did we do before all that shit you know you wrote it out you waited you saw what was coming and you hung the hell on now it's like run for your lives the end is near good god people come on man relax a little bit it's crazy anyways let's move on with the music shall we live from bells texas it's a rock and roll friday night, friday night. Oh, he was so young back then. My God, Tom Petty looks like a kid. Unbelievable. Yankee to Brit. 
over here. Friday night, rock and roll going on, having ourselves a hell of a time. What you got to say, Brit? Shut up. No, this was you. Yankee the Brit. We're having a hell of a time. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> it sounded anything like that, you deadbeat. <laughs> drop dead, bitch. <laughs> rock, rock, till you drop with oh, a Yankee look, look, and the Brit. The chat room. Uh, right, then we'll get to it. You're, You're listening, listening to the Yankee, Yankee and the Brit on the RTM radio network. Don't make me say it again. Robin Trower. Two Rolling Stones with the Yankee and the Brit. Hello, Mr. Dave. How are you? Yeah, Dave is in the chat room, and my mic has gone off again. You're gone uh, off. You're like old bread. You're gone off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad you could stop in for a minute. Yeah, we're bugging out early because uh got a lot of riding to do tomorrow, a lot of shit to get done. So, we might as well get out. I'm finishing my uh, frosted mini wheats, by the way. So, anyways, we figure we'll cut it a little short, much as we hate to, but... Uh, that's how it works sometimes. It means I can still get laid before eh, we bullshit. go to sleep. Who? Yeah. It ain't going to be me. I'll be sleeping. I'll just start without you. <laughs> I'll do what I normally do. <laughs> It'll certainly fix everything. Well done, wife. Well done. All right. What do we want to wrap it up with? One more tune here. Uh... Hysteria. And we'll pretend that it's for Dave, but it's really for me. Okay. How does that sound? We'll do that. That sounds mm. like a plan. Get your huh? guitar out, Thomas. This one, you're going to need to jam to. Guess what? What? Oh, <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> we'll do it from over here then. Damn it. All right, we'll do it. Don't way. run away yet, Dave. This song, we're pretending is for you. Remember? remember Tremors with Kevin Bacon 25 years ago? It's coming back, man. going to be a TV series. Should be pretty cool. And Kevin Bacon's going to be in it again. That's the cool part. And I so, remember uh, thinking back then, what the hell is that that they're climbing on, that they're rattling on? You know, and it what was, are you talking about? Uh, you talking about the Graboids? It was the water towers. They were making noise and jumping up and down on the water towers. And I oh, didn't know yeah. what they were at the time. <laughs> I was like, what the bloody hell are they? You mean, what they, you mean the water towers they were on? You didn't know what a water tower was? At the time, no. You don't have water towers in England? Well, no. All right, then. No, they We've just got them all over the place over here. They just don't have them. I know. You, you, <sighs> everywhere you look, you know, you can't you can't look very far um, in Texas without seeing a water tower. You know, you can see gorgeous sceneries everywhere, and you see and you see water towers. You know, but you just don't see them in the UK. Huh. Well, I think, they I think everything's underground, though, isn't it? Well, they don't have a date set yet, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it because that's going to be cool, man. That's going to be awesome. New monsters, still the little rock-eating little bastards they were, I guess, but. Uh, uh, you can tell by just the, the little picture they have here. That I, and, of course, you know, 25 years later, I would think they'd be a little better done, maybe. Of course, they were cool then. That's what made it cool. So, uh, Graboids coming your way, man. So, there's your new news. Be prepared. Graboids. Wah, rah, rah, rah. All right. I guess we're going to boot on out of here. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for sharing the page. All in all, it's a good deal. That's for sure. Yep, you guys are the breastest ever. Don't forget, we won't be here tomorrow night. Uh, so you got a weekend free of our ignorance. Yay, you. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that... Well, uh, Thomas in the chat room says, I love those movies. Now, uh, you know, I was like, I don't even know what the hell Randy was rambling on about then. Um, I wasn't really listening. I was thinking about the water towers. So I don't know whether I'm repeating him. But anyway, I was thinking, do we risk it? And watch it because, you know, sometimes there's certain things, certain films that should never be repeated, certain songs that should never be resung. So Well, yeah, but I mean, Christ has been 25 years. There's been, there's been now, they've made other movies about it, but the thing with this yes, new one. Yes, there was, yeah. Yes, but the thing with this new one is they're going right back to after the first one. They're skipping all that other crap. And this is going to be like... Uh, like you saw movie number one the first time, this will be number yeah. two. They're going to pick up right where number one left off. They're not going to cover all that crap in between because since this has Kevin Bacon in it, they're going right back to where they were. So it'll pick up where it left off, if you will. Yeah, I'm just hoping that it's good. That 
that's right four of them i i knew of like two or three or maybe two but uh thomas said there was four yeah there was yeah there was yeah there was but, that's right it was four i knew there was two yeah three, i'm just yeah, wondering four. whether it's going to be like really naff or whether it's um you know or how it's going to be you know something's i don't know we shall see we shall see and as soon as we hear about it coming on TV, we will be letting you guys know. I think it's going to be cool. But don't forget, soon, oh my gosh, I know Randy's going to be creaming his pants when he hears what I'm about to say. Oh, I'm going to get Krispy Kreme donuts? No. Oh, all right then. There's... Carry on. And don't forget, guys, Halloween... Da, 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 sees... <laughs> Stranger Things Season 2 oh, is yeah. going to be on... Now, I want to watch the last episode of season one just to recap my brain because I forget so much. I hope they didn't ruin it. So, yeah, but I can't wait. Season two. Oh, my gosh. We had, like, we did, like, a big binge watch of season one because we just loved it that much. So we so we just, like, oh, ah, season two. That's the two. thing, though. You know how you get into the first one and then they either cancel them like they did uh, Frequency or... It doesn't come out as good, so I hope the hell it's just as good. Now, frequency, you know. I, that just did not grab me like some things do. I thought it was cool, though. The, sor- the story was cool. The concept was awesome. Yeah, it was, but at the same time, it didn't grab me. And you you was losing quickly losing interest. Uh, you know, you kept bitching about it. There's just not Well, it was happening. getting too monotonous, you know. It wasn't uh, going anywhere. It wasn't doing anything. It was starting to run down. It yeah, and then just, as it, me up and and just it as it started it. getting somewhere... Then the series ended, so we've been like waiting for another series of it, and I just looked online just a couple of days ago, and there is not going to be another season of it. But I, I just know Stranger Things season two is just going to be amazing. You know, the new Doc Martin is out too. Is it? Re- oh yes, yes. Yeah, I got to see if I can find yes. that. I want to try it, see if it's any good, because it'll probably be the last season they do it. This is what number eight, I think. Well, this will be the last time, so I gotta watch one and see if it's any good. I gotta see what happens with him and uh, what was his wife's name? Uh, I forget. <laughs> and I loved it so much; such a cool show. <laughs> but I don't remember. It's anything. so it's so strange to me seeing him um, being serious because he's always been in stupid stuff like Men Behaving Badly, and maybe um, and what else is he, is he in? I can't bloody remember now. But he's always done like really stupid stuff. I don't know. So you showed me a few it's... shows that he was in. Yeah, so it's quite strange to see him uh, playing Doc Martin. As an older guy, yeah, because he was young, some of that stuff you showed me. Yeah, yeah. Very young buck. All right, well, let's get out of here. And we've been also watching um, Texas Midnight. Um, Very, very supernatural, isn't it? There's lots of... Yeah, vampires, werewolves, all kinds of cool stuff. Yes. It's kind of interesting so far. I hope it does. Usually they do pretty good for the first few weeks and then yeah they, i was a bit disheartened the writers get stupid i was a bit disheartened by the by the vampire one i just thought it ended just a little bit too sudden didn't it what the last oh the va- yeah the vampire one but the last one the was one before the good. last one yeah because yes. the last one was that blonde chick going around eating everybody yeah, yeah that's right, right yeah mm-hmm. so yeah you if you wanted and i kind of stumbled upon texas midnight by accident i don't know how i stumbled upon it but i did but you guys want to check it out it ain't bad at all no it's pretty cool but you know you don't know about these shows if you don't just stop and watch them there's so friggin many of them it's unbelievable and it doesn't cost anything to watch them you just gotta know where to look that's the key to everything all right. That is the key. So don't forget, guys and girls, tomorrow night, no show. You get to go and have a life of your own. Meanwhile, the Yankee and the Brit are actually getting a life and doing something interesting. Well, we'll probably be driving, actually. But just pretend that we're doing something cool and we're exciting. We're along the road somewhere on the way home. Yeah, let's just pretend that we're partying hard, getting laid. Um, and um, Partying hard. Partying hard and... Alfred the dog, part, he's going to be partying hard too. You know, he's got his rocker's wig. He's got his guitar. You know, <laughs> you can imagine all sorts of shit that the Yankee and the Brit and the radio dog will be getting band. up to tomorrow night. Yes. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm just a thinger in a rock and roll band. <laughs> so, yes, we have, uh, and Alfred's going to have his cowboy hat on tomorrow as well. He is going to be Reba. all kitted. Out ready to party with the Yankee and the Brit right tomorrow then. night. Jolly good. Say good so, night, Donna. Good night, Donna. Let's rock this shit with the Yankee and the Brit. Gee, Rand, what are we gonna do today? 
Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee and the Brit. The Yankee and the Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the king will have begun. By the end of the show, the heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brit, the Yankee and the Brit. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit, 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 Brit. Oh.